Virginia Farms on another windy day. Uh, you know it's going to be a long day when you haven't even started and you're already tired. Let's go inside and see what's happening in here today. So we just uh, trim this U and this is the lamb that had the umbilical cord um, that was bleeding. So somebody asked how he was doing. We're letting these two out right now. So we'll just have a look and see how his umbilical cord turned out. And there, it's it's all gone. It's healed up real nicely. Nothing's bleeding. The iodine makes it dry all up. And Is the string still there? Well, it must be, but I don't see it unless it came off too. Okay, we're going to go with a new pen, buddy. You open it up. Okay, so these guys are just going to go in the holding pen for a second, and then they're going to go out with the group. You too, buddy. Turn them around. What? You just can't turn? There we go. Come on. Oh. Well, she's saying he, she's waiting for her lamb. Oh. There they go. Yeah. A big, that's a big lamb. There he goes. So he's just going to go in this bigger holding pen to look at all the other sheep first before they go in. And we'll see how they do with that. This is the ewe that rejected her lamb. She's still rejecting him. Her. So, um, apparently there's one you that looks like she's lambing and in the past she's had singles and in the past she's also adopted so if she does have a single we're gonna try an adoption this is the mom with the two-figured lamb he's going to heroic efforts to try to nurse a bottle see he's still got the one ear down but with a little help he just sips a bottle, but he finishes the whole thing. And um, I kind of just push the lip on the one side down a little bit. And then he can form a suction. But he's definitely improving. Like before he couldn't drink it at all, and now he can. And we do see him on mum quite a few times. I don't know if he's actually getting anything, but he's absolutely trying. And maybe he is getting something. And she loves him and she's quiet, so... I I assume he has some kind of nerve damage and I'm hoping it's just temporary and that he'll get better because he shows like he's getting better. Anyway, so that's all the problem lambs in here right now. So we got two ewes back there that look like they might be lambing soon. But the front one is the most likely to lamb soon and she has adopted before. So she's the one we're hopeful for right now. Now with so many sheep and uh, lambs in the pens, we have on average 30 ewes and their lambs. So that could be 30, could be a 90 sheep in a pen. So of course the pens get dirtier much quicker. So we're probably putting out a bale of straw every day or every other day um, per half of the barn. But they're all in good, looking good. These are the young lads. I'll call this group two. This is group one. That's a really, really long you them. You're very, very long. You're very long. Yes, you are.
You on a box? Are you a lamb on a box? Oh, and here comes the grain. I don't know if they understand that he's got a grain pail yet. But they're watching him. And I'm guessing they are figuring it out. So lambs, um, they generally don't start really eating creep until a month old. And at that point, they're, we find they're just kind of nibbling, not really consuming, just tasting, getting a feel for it. Um, but by 50 days, they should be all eating um, normally and eating creep, eating hay. And at that point, mums are usually starting to dry up. So the first 50 days, are they're basically gaining their condition from mother's milk. So that's where, when you look at your lambs, you can really see who the good performing ewes are just by the condition of the lambs. Um, and then uh, as the ewes start to dry up, then you're going to be looking at uh, how well the lambs uh, can learn to eat on their own and, and uh, thrive on their own. But as always, Katie doesn't, Katie wants to herd the sheep. She doesn't really want to make friends with them, but uh, she's not a sheep biter. So uh, the lambs uh, gravitate to her. She's not too keen on that, but they do uh, follow her around. Whereas Ben and Max, they kind of stay clear clear of because they're a little bit more rambunctious. And Arnie just put some in the young lamb group, younger lamb. And uh, I see a whole bunch of their, them have gathered as well. So we want them to be eating in the creep uh, pen because uh, some of these mums will be starting to dry up. And the lambs have to know how to look after themselves at that point. Now we're going to be putting uh, straw on the other side for the white side. And here he is, little Kermit. Kermit, who are you and why are you always here? Hi, little guy. You're such a little guy. Where's your mom? Where's your mom? You've been stealing. I know you have. You can always tell stealers because they got brown all over their neck and head. Because, uh, yeah, they end up getting peed on. Because they're nursing from the back. Some of these guys, this guy's not a stealer, but he's uh, he's just got a dirty face because God knows what he's been up to. So 
So right now it's above uh, freezing, but tonight it's going down. All day it's dropping and it's going down to minus 25. So this uh, straw will help keep these guys a little toastier too. But now that this barn is pretty well full, uh, it's quite toasty in here anyway. But at least they can snuggle up in the straw. group we brought over yesterday and you can see Annie's in there and she's still with uh, Kirky. Kirky's in there too. like I didn't talk uh, Crookie's tail. And here we are with the last group. The real little wee guys. In here? You could, it's gonna be a hot, uh, I mean a cold night. I don't think those guys need it. Oh, really? Tomorrow's the tonight. So tonight, Sunday, and Monday are two really, really, really cold days again. And then we're going to really nice temperatures. And we're kind of hoping that these next two days are the last brutally cold days of winter. And we'll be starting to do the upward swing into spring. Yeah, these guys are pretty excited. They got a private place where they can do a merry-go-round thing. Run around the feeder. That's always a good game. And there goes that mom that wasn't feeling well. She isn't missing a beat now. So she, we were lucky with that one. She cured up real quick. Sheep are funny that way. You can get a sheep go down and nothing you can do will save her. And then you have other ones that you think there's no way. Uh, she She's a goner. And uh, they perk up, like, right away. They all surprise ya. Hey, no, no fighting. No fighting. Boys just got some straw too. Well, these are all the rams we have for sale this year. These, this is our Dorset for sale group. Got someone coming in two weeks to pick up a ram, a Dorset ram. Oh, 
buddies. Okay. A little nerve wracking when a bunch of rams come running at you like this. Hi, buddies. Hi, buddies. Hi, buddies. Come look at the little guys. Come, come down here when they run at you. So here they are in the new, their new pen at the bottle feeder. We got uh, Annie finished her bottle, so we might just offer her another one because she's a little glutton. Kevin's here. He's also a glutton. Crooky. Ricky's here at the end. There you go, Kev. There's a little more. Hi, did you want some? You're gonna be late. They're gonna drink it all. Annie, you're a little glutton. If you had her lamb, are you lambed? The noise is crazy as usual. But uh, we took this lamb away from her mom. And this mom seems to be okay with it. But this lamb's a bit afraid of the ewe because she's had bad experiences with ewes. So, still not 100% sure how this will go. She's not hitting it, so we'll see tomorrow, I guess. There you go. Stay with your new mom. Well, the snow's starting to come down just a little bit, and apparently today is the day that the temperature is going to plummet for two days, so it's going to be nasty tomorrow. But uh, we'll see how that lamb did in the jug with the new mom. Really hoping that works out. That mother has adopted lambs before, so I'm kind of hopeful. Um, but that's all we're going to do for today. And I hope you'll join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.